Hello, David. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, wrong number. Hello. This is Aaron True from MMA Prime TV, and today I'm joined by former Strike Force 135-pound female champion Sarah Kaufman. How are you doing, Sarah? I'm doing great, thanks. Good to talk to you again. Yeah, nice talking to you as well. So you're coming off two wins. You've only lost once ever in your ever in your entire career. You're 14 and one. Your only loss coming to Marlos Conan, a uh, title loss. You're now the number one contender. Do you know when we can possibly see you fight against Misha Tate for the title? You know, unfortunately, there. As far as I'm, as far as I know, there still isn't a time for that fight. I've been pushing for the fight since September, October. Um, you know, and it, it just hasn't lined up quite yet in terms of their scheduling with Strike Force. Um, so, you know, I, I want to get there in there as soon as I can. Misha and I both haven't fought since July, and that's as a fighter a really long time to sit around without a reason to not be fighting. So I'm I'm looking at January, February uh, as soon as we can. Well, the only loss Misha Tate has in the last four years, and her only loss uh, in the Strike Force organization, came to you. So, are you anxious to get in there and face her to try to win back your title? How do you think you would match up in a rematch against her? I still think that fighting Misha is a great fight for me. It was a great fight then, and it's a great fight now. Um, you know, I've evolved a lot, and I know Misha, she's been working on a lot as well, but I still feel like I'm stronger, and I deserve to have that title. And, you know, I really think that I'm going to be able to finish the fight. Well, recently, uh, just a few days ago, Ronda Rousey competed. She won again by armbar, and she announced she's moving down to 135 after the fight. Someone on one of the forums, uh, they mentioned that in terms of Ronda Rousey mo moving down to 135 pounds after her latest victory at armbar in the first round against Julia Budd, uh, people were saying no cuts. What do you think they meant by no cuts in terms of her challenging Misha Tate, and uh, how did you interpret that? I think, I think Ronda looked great in her fight with Julia Budd. I don't think that Ronda has fought uh, in MMA uh, anyone at a high level or anyone who is close to um, the higher level as the 135-pound division has. And I really just think she did a great job there. But in terms of her dropping down to 35, it's awesome for the division. It's great to have more talented, diverse fighters in the division. But there's no way... Um, that she, at this point, has earned the right to all of a sudden either get a contender fight or a title fight um, in a division that she hasn't fought in when she's only had four professional fights. You mentioned you didn't, you have not fought since July of, of this year. Uh, how, what do you think about the inactivity? Have you ever considered taking a fight elsewhere? Or in your mind, are you just set on the title against Misha Tate? And are you willing to wait it out however long it takes? Well, at this point, I've waited long enough that it, it's worth the wait, and it would be hard to find another fight outside of Strike Force right now um, based on my position and where I'm sitting in my rankings. And I did actually take a fight in April uh, in a local town, uh, local fight in Victoria here, and that was nice to stay active, but where I am right now with the title fight looming, uh, it, it would be a mistake to take a fight just in case, in, you know, in case that risk of, you know, you get injured or you lose or... Um, whatever happens, it, it takes you out of that placement. And, and right now, I'm I'm right there, and I want that title back. I'm hungry for it. So many people make such a big deal about Strike Force possibly shutting down, and if Strike Force is gone, then that's the end of female MMA. What do you think about the state of female MMA? And is it dependent upon Strike Force, or regardless of uh, whether or not Strike Force is around, will women's MMA continue to grow and continue to thrive? I think regardless, there will be females fighting, and Bellator, they have featured the 115 um, division, and, and that's great, and especially with their deal with Viacom. I mean, it's a huge contract for them, and that's a great exposure site for females. And I'm sure if Strike Force decides, you know, or goes under, or decides to get rid of the females, or Zufa, you know, whoever the powers that be, you know, make that decision, there will be a place. I think Bellator would be a great um, a great platform, especially once Viacom and, and Spike TV step in. Um, or, or another one will open, and, uh, you know, it, we're not going to go anywhere. It just might be a slight dip for, for, you know, a few months while everything gets figured out. 
I want to ask you on a serious note. We did have a little bit of a squirmish in the locker room at Strike Force one time. I had on a backpack and had a microphone in my hand. Are you willing, if you're ever in Southern California, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of yours. I respect your kickboxing and stand-up ability. Uh, I like that you incorporate your footwork from the ballet, and you have a black belt in traditional martial arts. So I have a lot of respect, respect for you, but... Are you willing to have a fair fight, K1 style, maybe a kickboxing match, if you're ever in Southern California for fun? And no grappling with punching to your face on the floor? No takedowns, just kickboxing. Well, either would be fun for me, and yes, I'm in. <laughs> All right, sounds good. And lastly, is there anyone you want to thank, any sponsors or any of your teammates or just anyone who's been helping you to continue a living the lifestyle that you're living, trying to get ready for a title shot? You know, just have to thank, of course, Aaron True for bringing this interview. Um, but seriously, uh, my coach, Adam Zujek, my strength and conditioning coach, um, Tyler Goodale, um, my teammates at Zuma, you know, it's a great team to be around. Uh, you know, Greg Jackson, Julie Kedzie, awesome people. Um, but most importantly, I really have to thank you know, people who've supported me um, through my loss, through my wins, um, and really pushing for this title fight. And I guess all the other fans of just, any other female, you know, it's great to see that someone's passionate, whether it's passionate about me winning or Wanda winning or Misha Tate winning or anyone at all. Um, you know, it's just been great to see the, the support and the feedback from the fans. Well, thank you for your time, and we wish you the best of luck, and hopefully you get your uh, title shot soon. Thanks so much, Aaron.